You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new shining face for Greater Brockton. Thank you for having Kitty me. Kitty Medina. Welcome. Nice to see Pleasure. you. Pleasure. Thank you. Um, you have a new program, which I think has a really cool name. Thank you. I Need You. That's correct. What inspired you to come up with that name? Um, the topic for me hits home. Um, last month, one of my children was hospitalized in a um, mental health clinic. Mm -hmm. And something that I started telling her was, I need you because it's difficult, especially in a young child, to be um, feeling like they want to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult, and you're like, I need you, I need you. So that's how the, came, the um, name came about. Easy to remember, and it, it is nice, and it sounds nice, and it's, it's look, at, I'm a long way away from adolescence, okay? <laughs> but when you're in middle school, even, see, nowadays I think kids have pressures that they didn't have before. Right. We didn't have social media. No. Okay. Kids are mean to other kids on social media. Yeah. I mean, in, in, in the past, you, you, they might be mean to you, they might bully you at school, and then you could go home, and it didn't follow you home. Right. But nowadays, it can follow you home. I mean, this whole crazy thing that I just saw recently myself um, with that Momo or whatever it was right. where they were urging kids. That's sickening. It's disgusting. Right. Okay. And, it's, and even if people make a joke about it, it's not funny. No, it's, it's just not. not funny. But there are kids that are confused, depressed. There's a lot of pressure on kids mm -hmm. these days. I think a little more than back in the day when I was a, a young child. I mean, I had parents, uh, you got to be, how come you didn't get an A? Right. That was my pressure. Okay. And you got kids that are pressured, you know, you got you to do perfect so you can get into the perfect college or whatever. And we, we've all been hearing about that lately, too. But it's even more serious than that. You know, people, you know, they don't like how they look. They don't like how they sound. I mean, it's always, it, it, it's, it's a big deal. So you're doing a group yes. at the Brockton Public Library, which is our community center. I'm right. proud of the library because I'm on the board of trustees. Oh, that was my good. first job back in the day when I was 15 years old. I worked at the library. Wow, that's pretty okay. cool. And people, kids feel comfortable at the library. We're kind of like a safe haven anyway. So mm -hmm. on the first and third Wednesday of the month, first one being Wednesday, March 20th. Yes. You're gonna have this support group for loved ones of suicidal or depressed adolescents. Yes. So it's for the. The family the members. Family it members. could be the friend, it could be the aunt, it could be the uncle. But what I found through going through this experience is that it's very isolating um, and you really feel alone. And people don't broadcast, hey, my child is suicidal. Mm -hmm. um, so it was definitely, uh, I felt a need to open up to people about what I was going through, even though I'm a very private person. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm not the only one going through the same thing. Um, and the title, the, the support group, I Need You, also works for the people that I do, I realize that I do need, because um, you can't just go through it alone. No, no. So I was telling you, I teach public speaking at Massasoit, and I tell my class, you're a support therapy group. Mm -hmm. They walk in the door, they look at me like, you're crazy. What are you talking about? I said, you got all got to support each other. You all got to cheerlead right. for each other. Right. You're the audience when you're not speaking, and then when you're up there, you might be a little nervous. Like, you, you, you told me you're a little nervous, or you're a little shy. Yeah. I don't believe that, by the way. I'm very shy. Just so you don't know. I well, think I'm red right now. Well, I know. We're going to make you a TV star. <laughs> you're, you're, Thank you're, you. You're all set. Um, so to find out more about this, you have a, you have a Gmail that's, yeah. um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spell it out. It's I-N-N-E-D-Y-O-U. 02301, which is Brockton zip code, at gmail.com. That's I-N-E-E. I-N-E-E. -E. I -N -E -E. Yes. Okay, so it's, it, I, yeah, I thought, I, I thought you, when you said there was the only one ticket. So it's going to say, I need you, 02301, yes. at gmail.com. Because things are taken, you know, it's hard to get website and domain names. And this is your phone number? Yes. So you say it. 508-379-3307. Yep. Okay, and this is free. You don't have to pay for it. It is free. Support is free. A hug is free. A listening ear is totally free. I'm here. Hugs are great. Yeah, they are, they especially when you need one. They really are. Um, and um, you said, was it daughter? My daughter. How's she doing now? Um, one day at a time. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like 
it's not like in an appendix removed that once you're out of the hospital, you're fine. It's right. more like every day you wake up to a different trauma. Like, can you attempt today? Can you not? Um, so it's difficult one day at a time. Do you think kids push other kids to this sometimes? Um, I don't. From I thought everything was okay. Yeah. And I'm that parent that's always there. Right. Um, but she never complained about someone speaking of her or nothing like that. It was just a thing. Um, so it was definitely an eye opener. Then I found out at the hospital she had two attempts. So that was her third. Um, so it's, de it's definitely an eye opening because it doesn't have a color. It doesn't have, no. you can't tell. No, not at all. And, so. and people can be, look at, uh, you see someone famous like a, back in the day, Robin Williams, mm -hmm. who was Mr. Comedian. He always looked like he was happy. Right. And we lost him. Right. Because he wasn't happy. I thought of him when I was in the hospital looking at her. Yeah. I did, because, you know, as a person, you feel kind of guilty, because it's like, how can I not know? How did I not pick that up? But then I thought of him and his family members, and I'm like, you know, um, a lot of people go through this, and I'm sure if love could save them, they would have been saved. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just not how it works. No. So you got, you need support, you need other people to be behind you, because they need yes. support. Yes. It's, you know, kind of like, building a team in a way. Right. Um, see, I'm someone that always believes that if something's bothering me, talk about it. Right. I had a dad who was a pressure cooker, kept it all inside. We had a heart attack and wow. a triple bypass. Wow. If you let it out, you might feel a little bit better. If you, right. and I'm not proposing any kind of therapy or any, it just I works understand. for me, okay? I know other people that don't, you know, they pretend all the time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I had, I had a colleague of mine that I went to a funeral for this year. Wow. My age, I'm over 50. Okay, but it's but with kids, I think it's especially hard, and then for the parents of the kids, yeah. you know, it's nothing you did wrong. I understand. Okay, so we want to get people to this program. I need you. Yes, sir. Great name. Thank you. Support group starts Wednesday, March 20th, and then it's going to be the first and third Wednesday of the month. We're happy you're doing it at our library. Thank you. Okay, and if you want more information, I need you, 02301 at gmail.com. Couldn't be simpler. <laughs> and the number is 508 379 3307. That's correct. And I'm not a counselor, psychologist, or nothing like that. I'm just a person that needs help, just like everyone that's going through the same situation. Well, we're glad to help you get the word out, and we're going to have you back and talk about it some more, and Thank we'll you. promote it some more. Thank you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Okay. Watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.